location in time. In other words, the singularity ends up in their future, and they can no more avoid the singularity than they can avoid time coming their way. So there's no shenanigans you can do once you're inside the black hole to try to skirt it, <laughs> the singularity. You can't set yourself up in orbit around it. You can't try to fire rockets and stay away from it because it's in your future. And there's an inevitable moment when you will hit it. <laughs> Usually for a stellar mass black hole, we think it's microseconds. Microseconds to get from the event horizon to the... To the singularity. To the singularity. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that's describing from the your astronaut friend's perspective. Yes, from their perspective, the singularity is in their future. But from your perspective, what do you see when your friend falls into the black hole and you're chilling outside and watching? So one way to think about this um, is to is to think that as you're approaching the black hole, the astronaut's space-time is rotating relative to your space-time. So let's say right now, my left is your right. We're not shocked by the fact that there's this relativity in left and right. Mm -hmm. It's completely understood. And I can perform a spatial rotation to align my left with your left. Right now, I've completely rotated left mm -hmm. out, right? Um, if I just want to draw a, a, a kind of a compass diagram, not a compass diagram, but you know, at the top of maps, there's a north, south, east, west. But now time is up, down, and one direction of space is, let's say, east, west. As you approach the black hole, it's as though you're rotating in space-time, is mm -hmm. one way of thinking about it. So 